Hi. Hi. Are you sure this course is just for two four nine nine? Yes, and you know this is the only course with this expertise across the world. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi. Hi. Are you sure you can prepare for product based companies through this course? Yes, sitting at home. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hello, welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. Today we are back with our next problem of the day, where we are going to solve the problem, which is is binary number multiple of three. It is a very classical math-based problem uh, because uh, we have like learned this about this problem. Okay, uh, how to check whether a binary number is multiple of three or not? Maybe you don't know. So I will tell you what's the property for it. Hello, Nikaj. Hello, Rishit. How are you guys? So let's start this class. Let me share the screen. See guys, thing is that there are some there is a property to check whether a binary number is a is a uh, multiple of two or uh, three or not. So that as you we know that there is a property of uh, multiple of two. So if a number is a multiple of two or not, or I can say if a number is even or not, we check the last bit. So if last bit is zero, we say it is a even number. If last bit is one, we say it is odd number. I hope this is clear. Okay. This is clear, na? Like it depends on the last bit. So if last bit is zero, that means a even number. If last bit is is one, that means a odd number. I hope that this thing is clear. A uh, something similar is happening with multiple of three also. It's not much hard, na? Guys, don't worry. Okay. So is this multiple of two? Subko clear, na? Let's see what's the value of three. Okay. So I am writing here. <clears throat> first of all, let's say this is a a binary number. So I am first writing here. Bit zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So if you will see, if I will write the values correspond to this number of bit, take okay. it. So it's something like uh, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, forty-one, fifty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, and so on. Take okay. it. It's something like this. Now, guys, what we will do is, <clears throat> hello, hi, 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 guys, hello, everyone. Now, so what we will do is that here in this particular case, let's say I'm asking that there's a number x which is one zero zero one. So, what is the value of this? So, the value of one zero zero one is nothing but it is one plus nine. Uh, so, you can say that this is also a binary number. Oh, uh, sorry, this is also a multiple of three. Let's take one more number, one zero zero one zero one. What's the output of this? So if I will say it, it is like one. So it's one plus two plus four plus eight plus sixteen plus thirty two. So it is something like uh, uh, twenty fifty three. It's not a multiple. Okay. So guys, what happens is what happens is we will count. We will count. Number of odd set bits and number of even set bits. Okay, so let's say that there is a no, there is a given like this. Okay, something like this is given, or maybe like this is given. Okay, so look, let's say here was a yellow number, tha, which was one zero zero one. This was this is known as the first bit, second, third, and fourth. Okay, so this is called the first bit, second bit, third bit, and fourth bit. This is what we call it. Like we can take it from here also. I will say I can say that this is the first bit, second bit, third bit, and fourth bit. Okay, 
so if you will see one thing if i will ask you that in this particular bit in this particular binary number how many odd bits are there which are set can you tell me can you even tell me how many odd bits are there which are set there is only one odd bit this one and how many even bits are there you can say one even bit is there which is set so both are equal that is why it is a multiple of 3 the first thing theek hai similarly if you talk about this number like we can take from here also it's fine both the cases are fine here if you talk about the odd number of bits are how many odd are there 1 2 3 3 and even was just one that is why they are not equal that is why it is not a multiple of 3 let's take one more example Let's see this thing. Okay, so you can see this number is nothing but it's uh, it is a multiple of three. If you will find the value of this number, it is one plus eight nine uh, plus sixty four thirty two ninety six and nine. It is one zero five. This is one zero five, and one zero five is a multiple of three because you can see if I will write the bits here, it is one two three four five six seven. so even bits are two i am talking about set bits only and odd bits are also two that is why it is a multiple of three so that's the first observation first rule that if odd bits and even bits are equal that means it's a multiple of three now one more thing is there it's not always that odd and even bits should be same there is one case one extra case is there when maybe they are different but then also the number is multiple of 3 let's say number is like this so i have just added a 10 before this number and now it became like this if you will find the value of this binary number so it will be 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 2 56 so it will be 2 56 2 60 3 20 3 uh, 330 339 something like that okay It's three thirty nine. I I I hope. Okay, I'm I write. So three thirty nine is a multiple of three. So if you will see for this particular number, it's one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay. Or even we can start from zero also. Like everything will. Then. So let's say zero one two three. That is also fine. Okay. Because ultimately the parity will be same. Ultimately the parity will be same. Okay. See. If you see how many odd bits are there, so there are four odd bits, and there are one even bit, and then also, so you can see odd bits and even bits are not equal, but then also it is a multiple of three, because there is one more case that if the difference between number of odd bits and even bit is a multiple of three, that means the overall number is also multiple of three. That is a very simple case. If the difference between the number of odd bits and even bits is a multiple of three, that means the whole number is also multiple of three. This is a, this is a case. This is a property of a binary number. Yeah, Nikas. So that is a case also that bits should be same also. But if the difference between the bits is a multiple of three, that means it's a the whole number is multiple of three. It's a very basic property. If you want, I can take up one more example to explain it. Okay, so let, let's uh, let, let's do like this. Let's say if I'm asking one 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 is a multiple of three or not. So one 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 is nothing but fifteen. And we know it is a multiple of three. Why? Because there are two even bits and two odd bits. Okay. See, listen. The intuition of this property is. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Let me. So the first of all, this is a completely observation-based property. So if you don't know uh, this property early, like if you are not aware, I don't think that someone can think of this. It's a really complex thing. First of all, so I don't think that uh, uh, someone can uh, think of this thing. But then also, let me uh, try to explain this to you. Okay. So if you will see one thing, uh, the numbers which are at 
odd places at odd indexes i can say are the power like let's say if i'm saying 2 to the power 3 to the power 5 to the power 7 to the power 9 these are all the odd in, in uh, indexes values okay so somehow like in this so if we talk about even indexes okay like 2 to the power 2 or 2 to the power 4 or 2 to the power 6 if i talk about this so when we combine two one odd and one even okay then it's fine if you will see let's say i am saying 2 power 6 plus 2 to the power 3 So it will give some value, uh, like two power six is something sixty four plus eight, and you can say yeah, it is a multiple of three. Okay. Now, look. Let me tell you a very clear, a very small uh, example of it. The thing is that uh, the multi. Uh, sorry, when we are having a even value like this. so mostly it gives remainder with 3 as 1 but when we have a odd values it can give the remainder as uh, like it will be 2 into 4 into 8 which is okay so when we combine them when we combine them so it becomes a 3 only so it's intuitive it's intuitive it's observation based only but it's somehow intuitive also got it it will not act it will not uh, like run for all the cases let's say it, it's doing for this here also it's one okay we have taken this So let's say sixteen into sixteen, two fifty six. It's one. So it depends what we are taking. Okay. So somehow, this is how we can think of it. This will not run for all the cases, guys. I am again saying it will not care for every uh, clear value. It is like this, but uh, mostly in most of the cases it worked, and that is how there is a very, like the thing is. Two plus two plus two is also six. One plus one plus one is three. That is why when we are having a multiple of three, let's say that there are six even and three odd, or let's say seven even and four odd. Then also it is possible how? Because for four odds we have four times one, or like four times two, I guess. Remainder, and for one also we have four times one. So we can combine each odd with each even, and we can make it a multiple of three. For three extra evens which are left, we can take it as a one, and we can make it as a multiple of three. That is why it's present. Okay. So if you will see here, what we will do. By the way, I have written a solution already. I've solved this. It's a very easy one, so I will not. It will not take much time. So odd is zero, even is zero. Initially, we have find the size of the string. Now we are simply I trade into the string. So whenever we are getting a set bit, if that index is odd, we are increasing it. If the index is even, we are increasing it. And if the difference between odd and even is a multiple of three, that means it's true. Else, it's not true. So the implementation of this problem is really easy. Okay, is it clear to everyone, guys? Great, amazing. So this was this about this problem. ठीक है सो इट वॉज आई 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 कैन से इट वॉज अ क्वाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम फॉर दोज डोंट नो प्रॉपर्टी ऑलरेडी इवन आई हैव लर्न इट ओके सो ग्रेट टुमारोज प्रॉब्लम इज इवन मोर इजी इट्स ऑल्सो अ बिट प्रॉब्लम बट इट इज रियली इजी लाइक इट्स द इट्स अ रियली इजी प्रॉब्लम जस्ट वी हैव टू सिंपली काउंट नंबर ऑफ बिट्स सो आई होप कि हो गया होगा ओके सो लेट्स मीट अगेन टुमारो विद द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम रेडी टिल देन थैंक यू Have a good day. Happy coding. Take care. Bye bye. Jeff Jigar lo ho jayega.